Hey, welcome back to Allison Customs Project Car TV. And what we're looking at here is a 1972 Scout II. Um, it was purchased by my grandfather in December of 72. And it has been used by a whole bunch of different family members, uh, painted all kinds of stuff over the years, and is now in my possession. So you'll be seeing this truck uh, in some future videos. Today it's just about getting it cleaned out. Uh, it's been sitting in a barn for about five years and uh, there's some mice that have been in it and stuff like that. So we're just gonna get everything cleaned up, get it washed off and uh, start really looking it over. There's some rust spots, there's a dent or two in the other side and uh, we're gonna look it over. Obviously we got one tire that's flat since it's sitting down in that corner, try and get some air in that. And uh, uh, it was a pretty well optioned vehicle. It uh, came with the factory winch, which was a Warren uh, 8000. Uh, it was called the M8000 uh, series 50, or model 5687. And it was all, all manual control, had knobs on the dash. Those, are, those and the cables are missing, so trying to track those down through family members. Hopefully somebody still got them. Uh, additionally, it originally was white and in over the years the full top was taken off. A half top to make it look like a pickup was put on and then when one of the other cousins got it the pickup top was disposed of and, the full, and a full top, not the original one, was put back on it. So it's got some damage and some stuff in places where it's been repaired so probably look at fixing that over time uh, they did put a back seat back in it although it's pretty rough shape and doesn't match anything um, sometime around 80 set, uh, 86 87 the truck was painted this color the pickup top was put on and the interior was redone in uh, red uh, it was originally red but it was vinyl and and pretty basic and it was kind of updated and put carpet and stuff like that in it. Um, otherwise, as far as running gear, it's 100% stock, still in the stock uh, condition. Um, it hasn't run in five years. And so we're also gonna see if we can get it started and running and then I'll put uh, new tires on it and try to decide now whether these are the original wheels. If they are, then I'll probably just have those uh, sandblasted and repowder coated. If I can determine that they are not the originals, then we'll uh, probably just buy some aftermarket that look just like them because it's about four dollars more expensive to buy a new wheel than it is to clean these up and repair them. Uh, other than that, it's it's just really filthy and been sitting a long time. So uh, I'm going to get the power washer out and get this thing cleaned up at least a little bit. Okay guys, I didn't have an adapt a fitting that would fit inside the gas tank uh, nozzle, so I just got it taped to the outside, and I've got my vacuum cleaner reversed so it's blowing, and we're going to pressurize the fuel tank, and the goal here is to get all the old nasty fuel out. What I've done over here is take the fuel line loose from the carburetor, hook up a couple hoses, and then I've got a bucket 
down here to uh, catch the fuel. We'll turn on the uh, vacuum and see what happens. I have no idea how much fuel is in here, but... All I'm hoping is there's not a lot of fuel. So we'll let this run for a while and I'll bring you back when, I'm, when we get done. So this truck has a filter on the bottom of the fuel pump. And so I took that off, pushed some more air through, got a little more fuel out of the lines. Um, and I've added about, oh, I think I had about two gallons of fuel here and put a little bit in the carburetor. So I poured a little bit of fuel into the carburetor and put the fuel pump, fuel filter back on, hook the fuel line back up, stuck a battery in. I do not recommend this as your normal uh, positive battery cable clamp, but uh, the bolt was missing and I didn't feel like going and finding another one. So with that done, um, I'm going to hit the key and we'll see if this thing cranks up. that hadn't been started in five or six years and now we just need to get fuel to the it kind of starts yeah pretty cool huh I will say I didn't expect that Fuel to come all the way to the fuel pump or from the tank to the trying to work. Once the fuel comes through the fuel pump and into the system, it'll, it'll smooth out too. take this for a ride up the road go a couple of miles and come back see how it, how it works
Thanks for watching Allison Customs Project Car TV. Like us on Facebook and check us out at allisoncustomsonline.com.